this is Ed Claxton. Uh, we're here in my guitar shop in Santa Cruz, and uh, Larry here is, is uh, filming me and asking some questions uh, about uh, the guitars I'm working on. And, you know, and, and it just happens to, uh, that today I'm binding this new guitar, and uh, I uh, have already got one, one strip of binding on. The next step is to miter all the uh, purflings intersect at a 45 degree miter. So that's what I'll be doing next. Uh, so I'll just uh, snip this one down and just do a quick little miter here. You can, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the one way to get a perfect 45 degree join is try to get this around. Maybe you can see that angle reflected in the chisel. So when, when you're plumb and you get that just right, it's perfect 45. Check it, make sure it's. Uh... When you're doing this end, if you uh, you know make a mistake or it's you know wrong, you can keep going uh, until it's just perfect. But when you get to this end, you kind of have one chance. It either fits or it doesn't. <laughs> so uh, this is the easy end. So there you go, that's pretty good. Well, now, move this up a little. Tape it in place. So I can move on to the, uh, do the same thing with the binding. Just tape this on to get approximately where it's going to be cut. Square and then uh, miter this to match the miter here. All the butts together. This is extremely hard wood, it's uh, Pernambuco wood from Brazil. Its hardness is one of its and this Great. is the wood they use for uh, violin bows. Violin right? bows is where it's uh, probably mostly used. Okay, so now that's the butt end miter for the binding. Now you need to miter this so it comes up and then goes in. It's pretty easy. Seeing and focusing is the hard part these days. <laughs> Cut it back a little more until that gap uh, fills up. So 
Mr. Mayor, that's ready to go. So there you go. That's all perfectly tight, sharp corners, miter. I don't know if you can see all that. But yeah. that's what you're looking for. Right now. Yeah. Okay. So the next step is, is I will just glue them on and I, cl I, I clamp them on with tape, two different tapes, uh, a stronger tape when you come in here. And then let it sit a while, and then we're ready to uh, do the top of it. Got the ledges cut. There's two ledges, purfling and binding. And uh, it's the same basic procedure for the top. And that's it. Okay. It takes a couple hours just applying the binding, gluing it on, and then you take it off and scrape it down, get it nice and pretty and flush and all that. Well, thanks a lot, Ed. Sure. <laughs>